What is that, you ask? That is the world's most giant scraper. Of course, you can only find them in Australia, where all the good stuff is. Um, no, kidding. But probably everywhere. I don't know. It comes with a little one too. It's a bonus. I thought that was actually the handle until I realised I couldn't control it by holding on to that. Um, so it actually is my new tool. Um, and it has a pretty important job. So I want to do a swipe. Which will hopefully come out amazing straight up. But then I'm going to do what I call a ninja on it. Now the reason I've been mucking around with these, these ninja paws is I found that, and this is the problem, I'm going to have to use that. That's okay, I'll use the other side. Yeah, so I found that if you can make a big sheet of cells with your swipe, um, and then tilt it and you've got a really big sheet of cells that looks amazing. That's fine. You can do that over and over and over and over and over and get amazing painting after amazing painting. Um, I got a little bit bored. I just wanted to see, you know, what could, what I could sort of do to just rough it up a little bit and make it different. Um, so I decided to do a big sheet and then ninja the painting, which basically means pushing the cells from the outside on top of the middle again and then spreading it out again. And what I found that can actually achieve is some really, really giant lacing. Um, it takes a little bit of practice, so um, it might not even come out very good this time, but I'm going to show you either way so that you can um, check out the technique and have a, have a go. Try not to have a go on anything too small. Make sure you've got a, a fairly good surface to give it a good teppanyaki kind of swipey ninja thing. Um, and then what happens is if you get a nice sheet of cells and you push them onto the top, they then spread out on their own as the paint's moving back out. Um, and then when you tilt it, they go even further. And I've ended up with some pretty gigantic cells and lacing um, from this particular method. Um, so I'm just gonna go with the same colors I already have mixed up um, for my last one. And um, see how we go. With same colour, different, different technique. So, just going to put on like quite a lot of paint, as I usually do. Um, so I want to get this. I want to get this right. Okay, so we're just looking for a, a quite a big uniform sheet of, of blah, 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 blah. try saying that after a few drinks sheet of cells Shelley um, and to do that oh, I'm just gonna give it one big hopefully hopefully nice and even swipe across the middle there I don't think this is a level because I've got two different cups under there that was smart okay just get on with it before the paint dries. Okay, so I'm just going to go with what I had last time, which is the Cobalt Turquoise Light. I'm going to try to keep it as straight as possible. I've got my TLP Mermaid. Beautiful aqua blue green. Once that is spread out. It does go to a very nice aqua. Oh, I've got shit all over that now. Oh. It ever just runs smoothly for me. Okay. Next is Twinkle. This little piggy Twinkle is a blue violet. So that was um, Atelier Free Flow Cobalt Turquoise Light was the first one. Then the This Little Piggy Mermaid. This is This Little Piggy Twinkle. I'm gonna give it a nice big lot of that because it's such a beautiful color. Have I forgotten one? No. Now I've got this really rich Tellier Free Flow Dioxazine Purple. 
I want to make sure that there's definitely enough of that there so that that's going to be my contrasting um, partner for this pink. Now I just hope that this pink's going to hold up with this particular way that I'm doing this. Uh, generally, just look at that. It's not even straight. Oh, there we go. So you really just want to get that straight line happening as best you can. Make sure. Go away, Louie. Right, I'm just going to get straight into it. Ready? One big even swipe. Just like that. Now I need to clean this up a little bit because I'm going to ninja it with the other side. Right, so now I wish I had my, my spinner back. Okay, so I want to push most of these ones onto the top, okay? So get some of this boring part in first. And on top we go, whoopsie. Okay, so we're just going to let them stretch out a little bit. Alright. Give ourselves some paint to work with there. Now I'm going to see if I can get this section here. Oh gosh, that's not even my light. Now it's covered in pillow paint. Eee! Whoopsie, sorry. Okay, so I want to keep some of those folds there. So I'm going to go that way first. I don't know about that big pink. Oh dear, what are we going to do about that pink area? No, let's get rid of that. That's going to be bad. Go away. That's better. So you can see how big some of those cells are getting. The only problem with I've, I've had with this technique is, oh, go away. It does... Um, it can break apart some paints sometimes. The purple's doing it a little bit. That rich purple colour. So yeah, it's kind of just a funky, different way of stretching out your swipe and just making making a different composition. This wouldn't be my absolute favorite one, but you get the idea. Um, I did have a little, a little blue one I wanted to show you. I'll pop a picture at the end of this, or actually you can pop that in right now. Boom, have a look at the blue one I just did the other day. Um, it was very cool. And I got some really nice, big, massive lacing on the front of it um, from doing exactly this, just one big swipe and then, and then the ninja. Oh, the electricians are going to kill me if I grab this, this light I borrowed off them and put paint on it. Oh, it's too late. There's already paint on it. Yeah, so there's some pretty gorgeous piggies in there shining through um, and it's very landscapey I find that whenever I do whenever I do these ninja if you can kind of get it, it kind of looks like um, a stingray or a, a shark to me just there um, but yet yeah, uh, the folds and the, the rivers with the lines from the cells that got stretched over here and then yeah, it can create some really interesting patterns. I'm actually writing to this particular um, style and technique at the moment because, yeah, I'm just trying to get some different things happening. And this is a really, can be really surprising in a, in a great way. Like this here is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, much more interesting than just having a big sheet of cells. It's a bit boring over here, but Probably could have put a bit more, a bit more, a few more colours in there. Maybe next time. Okay, let's do that now. Actually, I'm going to go mix up some more paint and have another go. It's like a purple volcano. 
Rightio, that's that one. Till next time. Bye.